In these words, I, Nefertiti, want to invite you to witness the awe-inspiring city of Akhetaten, the city of the horizon, where the radiant blessings of Aten, the sun god, illuminate your lives with eternal light. This city, built during the reign of my husband, Pharaoh Akhenaten, is a testament to a profound devotion to Aten. As I introduce myself by saying, I, Nefertiti, I aim to emphasize that my role goes beyond being a queen in a traditional sense. Instead, I consider myself a guardian of the unique spirit and beliefs of this era. Akhetaten is not just a physical place, it is a symbol of our commitment to the worship of Aten and a reflection of the changes we've initiated during this transformative time. By describing myself as a guardian, I convey the responsibility I feel to protect and nurture the values and principles that define our age. It's not solely about my royal status, but about my active role in safeguarding the spirit of this age, which centers on the worship of Aten and the pursuit of a new religious and cultural vision. Akhetaten represents the epicenter of our devotion, and I, Nefertiti, consider myself its unwavering protector and guide. As you gaze upon the magnificent surroundings, I implore you to take a moment to truly appreciate the artistry that adorns the walls and temples of our city. These intricate and awe-inspiring creations are not merely decorative embellishments, they are profound testaments to your unwavering devotion to Aten, the singular and radiant sun god. In the grand tapestry of our beliefs, we have made a deliberate choice to cast aside the worship of the old gods that once held sway over Egypt. Instead, we have turned our hearts and prayers toward Aten, the one true source of life and light. It is in the warm embrace of Aten's divine rays that we find our spiritual nourishment and the sustenance that nurtures both our bodies and souls. Every stroke of the artist's brush, every chisel mark on the temple walls, bears witness to a profound shift in faith and our commitment to this transformative journey. The artistry that envelops us is a visual representation of our collective determination to break free from the bonds of tradition and embrace the radiant truth we now hold dear. We have dared to challenge the long-established norms and beliefs, guided by the singular belief in the supreme power of Aten. This departure from the old ways was not taken lightly, for it was a monumental shift that reshaped the very fabric of our society and spirituality. So, as you stand in the midst of this artistic marvel, Know that every piece of art, every stroke of the sculptor's hand, is a testament to your devotion, our unwavering faith in Aten, and a resolute commitment to the source of all life, the one true sun, whose rays of enlightenment continue to bless us with their eternal brilliance. In my role as the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, I stand beside him as we embrace a visionary quest to reshape the world as we know it. Together, we have undertaken a remarkable journey that seeks to usher in a new era, a profound transformation that challenges the very foundations of traditions that have endured for millennia. Our mission has been nothing short of daring. We have dared to question the old ways, the rigid beliefs that have tightly bound our people for generations. It is not a decision we made lightly, for it is a path that carries with it both the promise of enlightenment and the weight of uncertainty. Our journey is one of profound significance a spiritual odyssey that seeks to free the hearts and minds of our people from the constraints of antiquated dogmas. We have looked beyond the familiar deities, the gods and goddesses that have long been the focal points of our worship, and instead, we have turned our devotion to the singular, radiant Aten, the sun itself, the source of life and light. In this audacious endeavor, we challenge the very essence of our society. The age-old traditions that once held us in their grip are being re-evaluated, reshaped, and, in some instances, cast aside. It is a path marked by the uncertainty of the uncharted, but it is also a path illuminated by the promise of newfound wisdom and spiritual awakening. Our ambition is to enlighten our people, to lead them toward a deeper understanding of the universe and their place within it. In our quest to elevate the worship of Aten, we believe we are forging a brighter future, a future in which the sun's radiant rays illuminate not only our temples but also the hearts and souls of every Egyptian. So, as we stand at the crossroads of tradition and transformation, know that our journey is driven by a profound desire for enlightenment, a belief in the transformative power of our vision, and a commitment to freeing our people from the confines of old beliefs and traditions. Our city, Akhetaten, stands as a sanctuary, a place where the ideals of equality and acceptance flourish. Here, within the embrace of Aten's benevolent gaze, a transformative spirit has taken root. It is a spirit that knows no distinction between rich and poor, highborn and commoner, 
for all are equal recipients of a tense divine radiance. The chains of old divisions and hierarchies that once constrained our society have been broken. In their place, we have woven a new tapestry of existence, a reality where love, unity, and truth have ascended to positions of paramount importance. The walls of our city do not segregate our people into separate realms. Instead, they serve as symbols of our collective dedication to fostering an environment where every soul, regardless of their station in life, is welcomed and cherished. Here, within our vibrant community, the boundaries that once separated us have blurred into insignificance. It is not just a shift in the physical structures of our city, it is a transformation of the very essence of our society. We have transitioned from a time when divisions among our people were considered the norm to an era where unity, fueled by love and guided by the truth of a tense radiance, reigns supreme. In this new reality, we find strength in our shared purpose. We walk hand in hand, rich and poor, highborn and commoner, under the same sun that bathes us all in its divine light. We stand as a testament to the limitless potential of unity, to the boundless capacity for love, and to the enduring truth that in the embrace of Aten, we are all equal, all cherished, and all blessed. Aten, the eternal sun, whose radiant warmth and light envelop us, we beseech your divine guidance on this extraordinary odyssey. As I stand at this pivotal moment in history, I am acutely aware of the profound responsibility that rests upon my shoulders. It is a responsibility that carries the weight of being a beacon of change and a resounding voice for the future. In the celestial dance of the heavens, the sun, Aten, is not merely a celestial body but a symbol of enlightenment, hope, and the boundless potential of existence. We look to Aten as more than a source of physical light. We see it as a source of spiritual illumination, a guiding force that inspires us to transcend the boundaries of convention and tradition. It is with profound humility that I embrace my role in this transformative era. To be entrusted with the task of leading our people through the shifting sands of change is a burden that I accept with reverence. I understand that, as a leader, I am not merely a custodian of the present but a steward of the future. As a beacon of change, I stand as a guiding light illuminating the path forward in a world that is rapidly evolving. It is a world where the old ways are being reshaped, where the sands of time are shifting beneath our feet. To be a voice for the future is to be a conduit through which the aspirations, dreams, and hopes of our people can find expression and realization. Aten, the benevolent source of life and wisdom, we look to you for strength and enlightenment as we embark on this extraordinary journey. May your radiant light guide us through the uncharted waters of transformation, and may it be a constant reminder that we are not alone but bask in the warmth of your eternal presence. Let the annals of history bear witness to the fact that we stand as the architects of a new world, a world where the triumvirate of beauty, love, and the radiant presence of Aten hold unassailable sway. Within this transformative epoch, we, Nefertiti and Akhenaten, emerge not merely as monarchs but as the vanguards of an extraordinary vision. We are the steadfast guardians of Amarna, the radiant city that embodies our ideals. In the fertile soil of our collective imagination, we have sowed the seeds of a profound transformation, a transformation that transcends the mundane and reaches toward the divine. It is a vision in which beauty is not merely a superficial veneer but an embodiment of the purity and perfection of a tense creation. Love is not just an emotion but a force that binds us all, transcending the divisions that once fragmented our society. And Aten, the sun god, is not a distant deity but an ever-present source of light and life that blesses us with its benevolent radiance. As the architects of this paradigm shift, we have dared to challenge the established norms and traditions, paving the way for a new dawn. In this world, we recognize that our roles extend beyond the boundaries of rulership, we are the champions of a vision, a vision that seeks to reshape the very essence of our existence. Amarna, our beloved city, stands as a testament to our unwavering commitment to this vision. Its architecture, its culture, and its very soul reflect the ideals we hold dear. It is a place where artistry and spirituality converge, where the beauty of our beliefs is etched into every stone and woven into every thread. In our guardianship of Amarna, we pledge to nurture the flourishing of this new world, a world where beauty, love, and the radiant essence of Aten reign supreme. It is not merely a dream but a living reality, an enduring legacy that we shall leave for generations to come. In our union, we find strength, in our vision, we find purpose, and in Amarna, 
we find the tangible manifestation of our divine aspirations. As I stand before you, enveloped in the resplendent and golden embrace of a tense radiant city, I am compelled to speak of the profound bonds that weave the tapestry of my existence. At the very core of my life's journey lies the presence of my beloved, the illustrious Pharaoh Akhenaten. He is the sun to my sky, the radiant force that propels the transformation of our world into a new and unprecedented era. Beside him, I have not only discovered love but also shouldered the immense weight of a nation's destiny. Together, we have embarked upon a sacred mission, one that challenges the age-old traditions that once held their people in a vice-like grip. In the luminous orb of Akhenaten's presence, I have found a partner whose brilliance rivals that of Aten itself. Our union transcends the bonds of earthly matrimony. It is a spiritual and intellectual partnership that fuels the fires of our shared vision. It is his unwavering commitment to the ideals we hold dear that has kindled the flames of change, sparking a transformation that resonates far beyond our own lives. As we tread this path together, hand in hand, we confront the past with courage and determination, seeking to untangle the intricate threads of ancient customs. The journey is neither simple nor without its trials, for we challenge not just the norms but the very essence of our civilization. In doing so, we hope to refrigerate society into a beacon of enlightenment, a testament to the limitless potential of human evolution. In Akhenaten, I have discovered a partner who shares my dreams, my aspirations, and my relentless pursuit of a world bathed in a tense radiant light. Together, we are not just individuals, we are the custodians of a transformative vision, a vision that aims to liberate our people from the shackles of the past and guide them toward a future where the sun of truth and love shines brilliantly, unhindered by the shadows of tradition. Our profound love has been a wellspring of abundant blessings, gracing us with the gift of six extraordinary daughters, each a living testament to the union that binds their hearts and souls. Meritaten, Mechataten, Ankus and Pyaton, Nephron for Yaten Tasharit, Nephron Furrer, and Setapimmer. These radiant names echo through the corridors of time as the treasures we have brought into this world. In their very existence, they are a living legacy, a testament to the enduring strength of our union and their unwavering devotion to the radiant Aten. Each of our daughters is a reflection of the love that has blossomed between us, a love that transcends the bounds of royalty and touches the very heart of humanity. Merit Aten, the firstborn, embodies the hope and promise of our reign, a symbol of the new era we strive to forge. Mechataten, with her name meaning, Behold the Aten, is a reminder of the divine light that bathes their lives. Ankus and Pyaton carries with her the essence of life and devotion in her name. Nephron for Yaten Tashert and Nephron for her, their names reflecting double beauty, grace or family with their presence, serving as reminders of the divine beauty that surrounds us. And Setapun, chosen by Ra, represents their profound connection to the celestial realms. Our daughters are not just her offspring, they are the living embodiment of our ideals, the radiant reflection of Aten's blessings upon our lives. Through them, we have sown the seeds of a future where love, beauty, and the eternal light of Aten shall continue to flourish, a legacy that will endure long after earthly sojourn has come to an end. Amidst the pages of history, there are enigmatic mysteries that even I, with all the knowledge and power that I possess, cannot fully unravel. Among these riddles is the very essence of my own lineage, the origins from which I emerged, a profound enigma veiled in the sands of time. The identity of my parents, the very roots of my existence, remain hidden beneath the layers of centuries gone by. The names and faces of my ancestors, those who have shaped the very essence of my being, are obscured by the relentless march of time. As much as I yearn to unearth the truth, it eludes my grasp, slipping through the fingers of history's ever-reaching embrace. Whispers and tales have woven a tapestry of speculation around my heritage. Some have claimed that I am the daughter of A, a figure of profound respect and influence within a court. Yet, even this assertion is shrouded in ambiguity, for the sands of time have a way of distorting the threads of truth and weaving them into the fabric of legend. The uncertainty of my own lineage serves as a poignant reminder of the vast and profound mysteries that continue to enshroud the annals of our history. It is a testament to the enduring allure of the past, where truth and legend often dance a delicate, elusive waltz. As I navigate the intricate tapestry of my own existence, I am left with the realization that some secrets may forever remain beyond the reach of mortal understanding, lost to the sands of time and the relentless march of history. 
Amidst the enigmatic mysteries that encircle my existence, I stand resolute and unyielding as Nefertiti, the great royal wife, the co-ruler of Egypt, and the entrusted keeper of a Thames divine flame. My lineage, whether known or concealed by the ages, has woven an intricate thread into the grand tapestry of our existence. With Akhenaten, my beloved and partner in this sacred journey, by my side, we have become architects of a new era, an era where the radiance of Aten illuminates our path. Our six remarkable daughters, who serve as both the vessels of our love and the bearers of our legacy, have become the living testament to our devotion to Aten's truth and light. Despite the elusive shadows that obscure the details of my family's origins, we are not defined solely by our past but by the transformative power of our shared vision. Together, we have assumed the roles of guardians of Amarna, the radiant city that embodies our ideals. As we tread the path of this remarkable epoch, our journey is illuminated by the radiant spirit of Aten, a divine force that guides our steps and infuses our hearts with unwavering purpose. We stand as beacons of change, champions of a future bathed in the luminous hues of love, beauty, and truth. In our union, we have discovered the strength to challenge convention, to question the established norms, and to lay the foundation for a brighter future. Our legacy is not bound by the constraints of history, rather, it is forged in the crucible of this transformative age. In the golden embrace of a tense radiant light, we forge ahead, united in our commitment to illuminate the world with the eternal radiance of our ideals, paving the way toward a future where the sun of truth and love shall shine, unhindered, over the lands of Egypt. In the year I now behold, the land of Egypt stands before me as a magnificent tapestry, an intricate weaving of threads that span across the vast canvas of history and tradition. It is a realm where the ebb and flow of time have painted a portrait of timeless beauty, where the heart of our civilization beats to the rhythm of the mighty Nile River. The Nile, a sinuous lifeline that winds its way through our land, is not merely a river but a giver of life itself. Its waters, like liquid gold, spill over the banks, irrigating our fields and bestowing upon us the sustenance that nurtures our people. It is the very heartbeat of our existence, breathing life into the arid soil and blessing our lands with abundance. Egypt, our beloved Egypt, is a land that knows no equal in terms of grandeur and splendor. Here, the golden sands of the desert, with their shimmering secrets, meet the verdant lushness of the riverbanks. It is a land of paradox, where life and fertility flourish in the midst of what may seem inhospitable terrain. Our cities, with their towering monuments and majestic temples, stand as a testament to the heights of human ingenuity and devotion. The pyramids, colossal and awe-inspiring, defy both time and gravity, reaching toward the heavens as if to touch the divine. Our artistry, captured in hieroglyphs and frescoes, tells the stories of our ancestors and the eternal truths that bind our society. Within the boundaries of Egypt, history breathes, and tradition thrives. We are the torchbearers of a legacy that stretches back through the ages, and it is our duty to protect and nurture the rich heritage that has been passed down to us. Our land is not merely a geographical entity but a repository of wisdom, a living testament to the triumphs and tribulations of our forebears. As I stand here, the very essence of Egypt envelops me, and I am reminded that our civilization is a tapestry of resilience, innovation, and enduring beauty. It is a land where the ancient and the modern coexist in harmony, where the sands of time have sculpted a heritage that continues to shine with the brilliance of the sun god, Aten. Within the boundaries of our glorious land, our cities emerge as vibrant and thriving centers of life and culture. They are the beating hearts of our civilization, where the grand tapestry of our existence unfolds in vivid and intricate detail. As I traverse these bustling urban landscapes, I am engulfed by the bustling rhythms of daily life. Our markets, lively and bustling, stand as veritable treasure troves, teeming with the riches of both near and far. They are vibrant hubs where the bounty of our fertile land mingles with the exotic wares of distant lands. In these vibrant bazaars, merchants and traders from every corner of our kingdom, and beyond, converge, weaving a tapestry of commerce that spans the breadth of our known world. In the tapestry of our cities, we find the people, each one a vital thread contributing to the rich fabric of our society. From noble to commoner, every individual plays a role in the intricate design of our communal life. They navigate the bustling streets with purpose and diligence, their daily tasks a testament to their commitment to their families and their communities. 
The very air is perfumed with the intoxicating scent of incense, a fragrance that weaves its way through the streets, carrying with it an aura of spirituality and reverence. It is a reminder that, amidst the clamor of everyday existence, the divine and the earthly coexist in harmony with inner cities. As I walk these storied streets, the soundscape is a symphony of craftsmanship and creativity. Artisans, skilled in their trades, breathe life into raw materials, transforming them into exquisite works of art. The rhythmic tapping of hammers, the gentle strokes of brushes, and the melodious tunes of musicians fill the air, creating a sensory tapestry that envelops all who tread these paths. Our cities are not merely physical spaces, they are the living embodiments of our culture, where tradition and innovation dance in graceful harmony. They are the crucibles where the past and the future meld together, and where the vibrancy of our civilization finds its most vibrant expression. The core of our spiritual beliefs rests upon the pantheon of gods and goddesses who have stood as benevolent guardians over our land for countless generations. Among them, Ra, the resplendent sun god, emerges as a radiant luminary, his golden rays warming our hearts and nourishing our souls. Horus, the mighty falcon, embodies the endearing spirit of kingship and protection, while Isis, the compassionate goddess, cradles our dreams and hopes in her divine embrace. These deities, and countless others, have graced our temples with their ethereal presence, their stories etched into the very stone and scripture that adorn our sacred spaces. Their legends have woven the fabric of our civilization, and their blessings have been sought by generations of our people. Yet, as the wheel of time turns, so too do the currents of faith evolve. In my time, a profound transformation has swept through the land, a reimagining of our spirituality, a rekindling of the sacred flames that burn in the hearts of our people. At the heart of this evolution stands Satan, the radiant sun disk. Aten, once a lesser known deity, now takes center stage in our worship, his brilliant rays reaching out to embrace us all. The sun, with its resplendent warmth and luminosity, has become the focal point of our devotion. Its divine light spills over our temples, bathing our lives in its celestial glow. This transformation is not merely a shift in beliefs but a rebirth of our faith, a reawakening to the timeless truth that the sun is not just a physical entity but a symbol of life, illumination, and enlightenment. It represents the eternal source of warmth and vitality, the very essence of Aten's benevolence. In the radiant embrace of Aten, we find unity, for the sun shines upon all, regardless of station or birthright. It is a powerful reminder that the divine light of Aten does not discriminate, it is a gift bestowed upon every soul, lighting the path towards spiritual enlightenment and a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. As we stand at this crossroads of faith, we recognize that our worship of Aten is not a rejection of the gods and goddesses who came before but an acknowledgement of the divine essence that resides in all things. Aten's radiant presence in our lives is a testament to the enduring power of transformation and the beauty of a spirituality that evolves and adapts, much like the ever-turning wheel of time itself. Egypt, this majestic realm that stretches before us, is a land imbued with a myriad of contrasts, a captivating tapestry woven from the threads of history and time. Beyond the grandeur that defines our cities and the resplendent treasures that adorn our temples, it is a land that bears witness to the ebb and flow of the human experience. In the annals of our civilization, we have known moments of profound unity, a harmonious blending of our people's hearts and minds, united under the protective embrace of our gods and goddesses. These moments have been our golden hours, where we have stood as a singular force, unyielding against the challenges that sought to test our resilience. Yet, like all great civilizations, we have also traversed the shadowed valleys of division. We have faced the trials of adversity, as the currents of history have taken us through times of discord and disarray. These were the moments when our unity was tested, when divisions threatened to weaken the bonds that held us together. We have known both prosperity and hardship, much like the cycles of the mighty Nile that both blesses our lands with abundance and, on occasion, subjects us to its unpredictable inundations. These fluctuations, too, are part of the intricate mosaic of our existence, reminding us of the fragility and resilience of the human spirit. The sands of time, relentless in their passage, may obscure the footprints of those who walked before us. The echoes of their voices may have faded into the whispering winds of history. Yet, 
Through it all, our legacy endures, a testament to the enduring spirit of Egypt and its people. We are the heirs to a civilization that has weathered the tempests of time, that has risen and fallen, and yet, through each era and epoch, has emerged stronger, wiser, and more resolute. Our legacy is not merely etched in stone but woven into the very fabric of our culture and identity. As we stand in the radiant embrace of our beloved Egypt, we are reminded that the contrasts that define our history are not flaws but facets, a reflection of the multifaceted gem that is our civilization. It is a reminder that our journey, like the Nile itself, is marked by both calm waters and tumultuous rapids, each contributing to the richness and depth of our story. In this pivotal moment, as I stand at the threshold of transformation with Akhenaten, my beloved companion and partner in our extraordinary journey, I behold Egypt as a canvas, an expansive tableau upon which we are poised to paint the vibrant colors of our collective dreams and aspirations. This ancient land, steeped in the rich tapestry of history, has become the fertile ground upon which we sow the seeds of a new year. Egypt, a realm where the echoes of antiquity still resonate, is a place where the cherished traditions of our ancestors converge with the daring strokes of innovation. It is a landscape where the past and the future harmoniously intertwine, each thread of time weaving seamlessly into the other, creating a timeless tapestry of human civilization. This land, with its storied history and unparalleled grandeur, stands as a jewel that has been treasured by both gods and mortals alike. Our temples, resplendent in their architectural majesty, are the sanctuaries where our devotion finds expression. They are the testament to the divine presence that has graced our land for millennia. Aten, the radiant sun that now guides our faith, illuminates this sacred canvas with its life-affirming light. It bathes our temples, our cities, and our lives in the divine warmth of its celestial embrace. As the central focus of our worship, a tense brilliance infuses our endeavors with purpose and vitality, casting aside the shadows of doubt and stagnation. In our union, Akhenaten and I, we find ourselves at the crossroads of history, poised to lead our people into a future illuminated by a tense radiant glow. It is a future where tradition and innovation dance in harmony, where the cherished customs of our past coexist seamlessly with the transformative aspirations of our present. As we embark upon this monumental journey, let it be known that Egypt is not merely a land of ancient glories, but a living testament to the enduring spirit of its people. Together, we shall paint a new chapter upon this age-old canvas, a chapter where the colors of hope, love, and enlightenment plan to create a masterpiece that shall be cherished by generations to come. Behold, the tapestry of Egypt, a magnificent creation woven with threads that carry the weight of tradition and the promise of change. In this sacred land, we are not merely isolated threads but integral components of a grand and intricate tapestry, a tapestry that represents the very essence of our civilization. Egypt, our beloved homeland, is a reflection of the harmonious interplay between the familiar rhythms of tradition and the bold strokes of change. It is a realm where the echoes of our ancestors resonate through the corridors of time, and where the dreams of the future find fertile ground upon which to unfurl their wings. In this multifaceted tapestry, we are not solitary threads but diverse lives, each bearing its own unique hue and texture. We are united not by uniformity but by the rich diversity of our experiences, aspirations, and contributions. Every life, like a thread, plays a vital role in weaving the intricate patterns of our society. The strength of our civilization lies not in its uniformity but in its ability to embrace the multifarious threads of our existence. Each individual, each community, each tradition, and each innovation contributes to the vibrant mosaic of our collective identity. It is this very diversity that enriches our culture, infusing it with resilience and dynamism. As we stand together upon this hallowed ground, let us celebrate the tapestry that is Egypt, the tapestry that has been meticulously crafted over millennia. Let us honor the threads of tradition that connect us to our roots and the threads of change that carry us toward the horizon of progress. In the intricate weave of our lives, let us recognize the beauty of our interconnectedness, the strength of our unity, and the potential of our shared destiny. Together, we are not just threads but an indomitable tapestry, a living testament to the enduring spirit of Egypt and its people. First and foremost, we encounter the traditionalists, a group of individuals who steadfastly hold dear to the ancient gods of old. 
Their devotion lies in the polytheistic beliefs that have been the bedrock of our civilization for countless centuries. In the tapestry of our society, they are the guardians of tradition, the torchbearers of customs that have withstood the tests of time. The traditionalists, their hearts steeped in the reverence of our multifaceted pantheon, find solace and meaning in the myriad deities that grace our temples. These gods and goddesses, each with their own unique attributes and domains, have been the guiding stars of our cultural and spiritual compass. For the traditionalists, every temple, every shrine, is a hallowed space where they seek the favor and blessings of these ancient divinities. Their rituals and ceremonies, passed down through generations, are a testament to the enduring power of our polytheistic heritage. In the stories of these gods, they find the wisdom of ages, the answers to life's profound questions, and the solace in times of turmoil. To them, the gods are not distant figures but intimate companions, ever watchful over their lives and the destiny of our land. The traditionalists draw strength from the interconnectedness they share with these deities, for they believe that every aspect of life is intertwined with the divine. In their unwavering faith, they provide a link to our past, a past that has shaped our identity, our values, and our traditions. Their commitment to preserving the legacy of our ancestors ensures that the ancient gods continue to hold a revered place within the tapestry of our evolving society. As we navigate the complexities of change, it is the presence of the traditionalists that reminds us of the depth and richness of our heritage. They serve as a living bridge between our past and our present, and in their rituals and devotion, we find a profound connection to the enduring spirit of Egypt and its enduring traditions. Another significant presence within our society is the revered priesthood, a formidable and influential force that has held sway over the spiritual and temporal affairs of our land for generations. The temples, with their towering grandeur and sacred sanctuaries, serve as the very heart and soul of our spiritual life, and the priesthood is the honored custodian of these sacred spaces. The priests, selected and trained with utmost care, are not merely individuals but revered intermediaries between our people and the divine pantheon. They are entrusted with the profound responsibility of bridging the earthly realm with the celestial. It is they who conduct the intricate rituals, offer the sacred incense, and recite the timeless hymns that beseech the favor and blessings of the gods. Within the hallowed halls of the temples, the priests embody the living connection to the divine. Their lives are dedicated to the service of the gods, and their devotion is unwavering. They are the keepers of the sacred flame, ensuring that the rituals are performed with utmost precision and reverence. The temples, as architectural wonders that inspire awe, are not merely physical structures but gateways to the realms of the gods. The priests, in their sacred attire and solemn demeanor, stand as the conduit through which our prayers and offerings are channeled to the divine pantheon. It is their role to interpret the signs and messages from the gods and convey their divine will to our people. The influence of the priesthood extends beyond the spiritual domain, for they are also the guardians of our cultural heritage and the repositories of ancient wisdom. Their knowledge of sacred texts, rituals, and traditions is unparalleled, and it is through their teachings that the spiritual and moral fabric of our society is woven. The priesthood, with its profound authority and spiritual wisdom, plays an indispensable role in shaping our civilization. Their guidance and counsel are sought not only in matters of faith but also in matters of governance and justice. They are the embodiment of continuity and tradition, ensuring that the sacred flame of our heritage burns brightly through the ages. As we navigate the currents of change, the priesthood remains a steadfast and unwavering pillar of our society, ensuring that the sacred connection between our people and the gods endures, and that the sanctity of our temples remains unblemished. Within the tapestry of our society, we find the presence of the nobility, a distinguished and privileged class of individuals who occupy a prominent place in the hierarchy of Egypt. These nobles are the aristocrats of our land, their status and influence firmly rooted in the bedrock of our time-honored traditional beliefs and social structure. The nobility, a select few among us, are heirs to a legacy that spans generations. They have inherited not only wealth and prestige but also the responsibilities and expectations that come with their elevated position. Theirs is a world shaped by the customs and values that have guided our society for centuries. Accustomed to a life of privilege and opulence, the nobility find themselves ensconced in a world where the weight of tradition and expectation rests heavily upon their shoulders. Their lineage, traced back through the annals of history, 
is both a source of pride and a mantle of responsibility. Within their refined circles, the nobles are patrons of the arts, champions of culture, and defenders of our time-honored traditions. Their patronage sustains their artisans, their wealth supports their temples, and their influence shapes the cultural landscape of our civilization. The nobility's status is not merely a consequence of birthright but a reflection of their commitment to upholding the values and norms that have defined their society for generations. Their role is to preserve and protect the social order, to safeguard the sanctity of our traditions, and to serve as a pillar of stability in times of change and upheaval. Their privileged existence is not without its challenges, for it carries with it the weight of expectation and the scrutiny of their peers. The nobility is expected to exemplify the ideals of honor, integrity, and noblesse oblige, the moral obligation to act in a manner befitting their elevated station. In the intricate fabric of our society, the nobility is a thread of distinction and prestige, a testament to the enduring power of tradition and the importance of maintaining the delicate balance between privilege and responsibility. They are a living embodiment of our cultural heritage and a reflection of the enduring legacy of Egypt's aristocracy. In the complex geopolitical landscape of our time, there existed a presence that cast a watchful eye upon our borders, a presence that we perceived as shadows, foreign powers whose interests and intentions were closely scrutinized by our leaders and people. These foreign powers, with their own ambitions and agendas, occupied a space on the periphery of our realm. While they may not have been part of the fabric of our society, their influence and actions reverberated within the boundaries of our land. Their proximity to our borders and their strategic interests made them players in the intricate dance of international relations. As the rulers of Egypt, we were acutely aware of the shadows that loomed beyond our borders. We recognized that these foreign powers possessed their own political, economic, and military strength. Their actions and decisions had the potential to impact their land, its people, and its stability. The watchful gaze of these foreign powers compelled us to maintain vigilance and diplomacy. We engaged in delicate negotiations, forged alliances, and navigated the complex terrain of international politics. We understood that our interactions with these shadows could shape the course of our nation's destiny. At times, the foreign powers sought to exert their influence, to assert their interests within their borders. These moments were fraught with tension and required us to exercise a delicate balance between safeguarding our sovereignty and maintaining peaceful relations. The shadows at our borders served as a constant reminder of the challenges and opportunities that lay beyond our frontiers. In this intricate dance of diplomacy and geopolitics, we, as leaders, were tasked with safeguarding the interests and well-being of our people. We knew that the shadows on our borders were not merely distant entities but potential actors in the unfolding drama of our nation's history. As we steered the course of Egypt's destiny, we recognized that our interactions with these foreign powers would shape the narrative of our civilization. It was a testament to the interconnectedness of our world, where the actions of distant shadows could cast ripples that touched the very heart of our land and its people. Amidst the intricate tapestry of contrasts and challenges that enveloped her land, I, Nefertiti, alongside my beloved Akhenaten, stood resolute and unwavering in her shared vision for Egypt. Together, we embarked on a profound journey, a journey that aimed to illuminate the path toward a brighter and more harmonious future for our beloved nation. In the midst of a society where tradition and innovation often appeared at odds, we were determined to find a delicate and sustainable balance. Our mission was to weave together the threads of time-honored customs and the bold strokes of innovation, creating a fabric that would embrace both the cherished legacy of our ancestors and the promise of a reimagined tomorrow. Navigating these complex waters, we understood that our task was not without its challenges. We were acutely aware of the deep roots of tradition that had anchored our society for centuries, providing it with stability, continuity, and identity. Simultaneously, we recognized the urgent need for innovation, for the capacity to adapt to changing times and evolving aspirations. In the midst of these tensions, we held steadfast to the belief that the Ten's radiant presence would guide us through the labyrinthine corridors of transformation. A Ten, the benevolent sun disk, had become the focal point of our faith, a symbol of the eternal source of life, light, and enlightenment. It was in the embrace of the Ten's radiance that we found the strength and inspiration to persevere. 
Our journey was not one of mere rebellion against tradition but a profound reimagining of our society's spiritual and cultural foundations. We sought to infuse the everyday lives of our people with the warmth and illumination of a tense divine light, to illuminate the path toward a more enlightened and equitable future. As we forged ahead on this extraordinary path, we knew that the road would not be without its challenges and complexities. But we remained steadfast in our commitment to Egypt, to its people, and to the belief that our shared vision would serve as a beacon of hope, guiding us toward a future where tradition and innovation coexisted harmoniously, a future where tense radiance would continue to bless our land. Let us always remember that in our journey through the annals of history, we were never alone. Egypt, our beloved land, was a vibrant mosaic of voices, each one bearing its own unique story, its own distinct view within the grand tapestry of our civilization. It is the collective mosaic of our people, their diverse voices, and their myriad tales that have woven together to shape our enduring legacy and to define our indelible place in the shifting sands of time. Within the bounds of our land, we found an extraordinary array of voices, each one contributing to the rich symphony of our culture and society. From the mighty rulers and the influential priesthood to the artisans, craftsmen, and farmers toiling under the relentless sun, each played an indispensable role in our shared narrative. The scholars and scribes, the poets and musicians, they etched their expressions of creativity and wisdom onto the canvas of our civilization. Their works, preserved in the sacred scrolls and echoed in the melodies of our songs, continue to echo through the corridors of time, serving as a testament to the vitality of our culture. Beyond the elite and the learned, it was the everyday lives of our people that formed the foundation of our society. The farmers tilling the fertile banks of the Nile, the traders navigating the bustling markets, the families nurturing the bonds of love and community, each one contributed their own unique hue to the mosaic. In our unity and diversity, we found strength. Our collective experiences, our shared struggles, and our collective aspirations became the building blocks of our civilization. The stories, customs, and traditions passed down through generations became the threads that wove the intricate patterns of our cultural heritage. As we look back upon the tapestry of Egypt, we realize that it is not just the grand deeds of rulers and priests that define us. It is the cumulative efforts, the ordinary moments, and the voices of every individual, from the highest to the humblest, that have imbued our civilization with depth, resilience, and enduring beauty. Our legacy, our identity, is a testament to the collective spirit of Egypt, a spirit that continues to resonate through the ages. It is a reminder that we are part of an ongoing narrative, a story that transcends time, and that the mosaic of voices that have shaped us will continue to evolve, inspire, and endure, defining our place in the grand mosaic of human history. Within the radiant embrace of a tense eternal light, I am moved to speak of a soul whose presence illuminates my life, a soul as radiant and pure as the sun itself. This cherished figure is none other than my beloved daughter, Meritaten. She stands as the embodiment of her deepest hopes and aspirations, a living testament to the boundless love that my beloved Akhenaten and I share. Meritaten, a name that carries the weight of her dreams, is a beacon of light and promise in our lives. Her existence is a testament to the enduring legacy of our union, a testament to the love that has blossomed between us amidst the challenges and triumphs of our reign. As a mother, I have watched her grow, witnessing the blossoming of her spirit and the radiance of her character. Her presence in our lives is a reflection of the love that courses through her family, a love that is woven into the very fabric of her existence. In the grace of Meritatine's presence, I am reminded of the profound responsibility that rests upon her shoulders, the weight of being not only guardians of Amarna but also stewards of the future. She represents the next generation, the promise of tomorrow, and the hope that her efforts to usher in a new era will be carried forward with grace and wisdom. Through her eyes, I see the world anew, a world touched by the transformative power of a tense light. She is a living testament to the potential of her vision, a vision that seeks to infuse every corner of Egypt with the radiant warmth of a tense benevolence. Meritatine's laughter, her curiosity, and her boundless spirit serve as a reminder that, even in the midst of grand responsibilities, there is room for joy wonder, and the simple pleasures of life. She is a reminder that her journey is not just about the weighty matters of state but also about the beauty and innocence that reside in the hearts of her children. As I speak of Meritaten, I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude, 
for her presence in our lives is a gift, a living testament to the love that binds our family and the hope that her endeavors will leave a legacy of enlightenment and love for generations to come. Merit 10, my precious firstborn, you are a radiant beacon of light that graces our lives, much like the sun disk that bathes our land in its golden embrace. Your very name, Merit 10, carries profound significance, for it means, she who is beloved of Aten. In every facet of your existence, you have lived up to the name with a grace and strength that inspire awe and admiration. From the moment you entered this world, your presence has been a source of boundless joy and hope for us. You are the embodiment of our deepest aspirations and the living manifestation of the love that my cherished Akhenaten and I share. Just as a tense radiant rays bring warmth and light to your land, your presence has brought a measure of love and light to your family. As your mother, I have had the privilege of witnessing your growth and development, marveling at the blossoming of your character and the brilliance of your spirit. You possess a grace and strength that extend beyond your years, a quality that sets you apart as a remarkable soul destined for greatness. Your name, Meritaten, is a reflection of the love and adoration that you have inspired in our hearts from the moment you first opened your eyes to the world. It is a name that embodies the deep affection and connection we feel toward you, a connection that is woven into the very essence of our family. In the luminous glow of a tense eternal light, you stand as a beacon of hope for Egypt, a symbol of the new year that we are forging together. Your presence serves as a constant reminder of the transformative power of love and the potential for greatness that resides within each of us. As you continue to grow and navigate the path of life, May you carry the name, Merit Aten, with pride, and may you always be a beloved child of Aten, a cherished member of our family, and a source of inspiration for all who have the privilege of knowing you. Your journey is just beginning, and we have no doubt that your light will continue to shine brightly, much like the sun that graces our land with its eternal radiance. From the earliest days of your life, it became evident that you possessed a wisdom and maturity far beyond your tender years. Even as a child, you exhibited a remarkable insight and a keen understanding of the world around you. It was as though you carried within you an old soul, one that had witnessed the ebb and flow of generations past. As your parents, we watched with awe and pride as you grew and developed, your innate wisdom shining like a beacon in our lives. You were not merely a child, you were a source of inspiration and a reminder that the essence of age-old truths can reside in the hearts of the young. Our journey... The path of transformation that Akhenaten and I embarked upon was not one taken lightly. It was a profound endeavor to reshape the destiny of Egypt and challenge the traditions of our ancestors. It was a path fraught with challenges, uncertainties, and opposition. Yet, through it all, you stood by our side with unwavering loyalty and dedication. You embraced a vision for Egypt with a depth of understanding that belied your youth. Your support, your unwavering belief in our mission, was a source of strength and inspiration for us both. Your heart, like mine, beats in perfect harmony with the radiant Aten, the divine source of life and enlightenment. In your presence, we found a kindred spirit, one who shared in our devotion to Aten's benevolent light and the vision of a transformed Egypt. Your loyalty and unwavering commitment to your cause served as a constant reminder of the importance of our mission. It was a testament to the power of belief, the strength of unity, and the enduring bonds of family. As we continued on this extraordinary journey, your presence remained a guiding light, a symbol of hope, and a source of reassurance. Your wisdom, your loyalty, and your unwavering support were a testament to the indomitable spirit of our family, and a reminder that, together, we were forging a path toward a brighter future for Egypt, one that would be illuminated by the radiant light of Aten for generations to come. You, my beloved daughter, have transcended the role of a family member to become a source of inspiration for our people, a living embodiment of the unity and profound love that my cherished Akhenaten and I share. Your presence, your actions, and the way you carry yourself have become a symbol, a symbol of hope, grace, and intelligence. In your every word and deed, you radiate a grace and wisdom that are nothing short of remarkable. It is as though you have been touched by the very essence of a tense divine light, and the radiance shines forth from your being, casting a luminous glow over all who have the privilege of knowing you. Your intelligence and discernment have captured the hearts and minds of those who walk beside us in this transformative journey. People have been drawn to you, not just as a member of the royal family, but as a genuine and inspiring presence. 
Your ability to connect with others, to empathize, and to express kindness has made a profound impact on our people. In you, they see a reflection of the values and ideals that we hold dear, an unwavering commitment to Aten, a deep love for Egypt, and an unwavering dedication to the betterment of our society. Your very existence is a testament to the power of love and unity in a time of change and transformation. As you have grown and matured, you have come to embody the essence of our vision for Egypt, a vision of enlightenment, equality, and love. Through your example, our people have witnessed the transformative potential of our ideals, and they have been inspired to embrace the path of progress and unity. You, my dear Smeritaten, are not just our beloved daughter, you are a symbol of hope and a beacon of light for Egypt. Your journey, your grace, and your intelligence serve as a testament to the enduring power of love, unity, and the radiant spirit of Aten. In you, our people find inspiration to embrace a brighter future, one where the ideals of enlightenment and love reign supreme, and for that, we are eternally grateful. My cherished merit Aten, as you continue to grow and flourish, I cannot help but see in you the potential to not only embrace but also carry forward the sacred mission that has defined our lives, a mission that revolves around the radiant light of Aten. The world around us is ever-changing, evolving with the passage of time, and I firmly believe that you, my beloved daughter, are destined to be an integral part of the change. In your very essence, I see the embodiment of the values, principles, and unwavering faith that have guided your family and your reign. Your spirit carries the warmth and illumination of a tense divine light, and as you mature, you will become a living vessel through which the light will continue to shine brightly. The world in which you will come of age is one marked by transformation and innovation. It is a world where the old gives way to the new, where tradition harmonizes with progress, and where the spirit of enlightenment pervades. It is a world where the legacy of Egypt intersects with the currents of change. You, my dearest Meritaten, are poised to stand at the intersection of these forces of change. You will not only witness the shifting tides of history but will also play an active role in shaping the destiny of Egypt and its people. Your very existence is a testament to our faith, our devotion to Aten, and our unwavering commitment to a brighter future. In the coming years and decades, you will emerge as a symbol of our legacy, a legacy that values enlightenment, unity, and love above all else. Your journey will be a testament to the enduring power of faith, determination, and the radiant light of Aten, which has guided your family through the most transformative of times. As you step into the world, my beloved daughter, always remember that you are not just a bearer of a noble lineage but a guardian of a profound legacy. You carry within you the promise of tomorrow and the responsibility to continue the mission that has defined your lives, a mission rooted in love, unity, and the radiant spirit of Aten. No, my dearest Meritaten, that as long as the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening, I will always be by your side. My commitment to you is unwavering, and I will be there to guide you, to offer my unyielding support, and to envelop you in a love that knows no bounds. Your journey ahead is as radiant as the sun's rays, and I have the utmost confidence that you will shine brilliantly in this world. The rising and setting of the sun, a daily reminder of Aten's eternal presence, serves as a metaphor for the constancy of my love and support for you. No matter the challenges, the uncertainties, or the changes that life may bring, I will stand by your side as a steadfast pillar of strength and guidance. Your future is a tapestry yet to be woven, a canvas upon which you will paint the colors of your dreams, ambitions, and aspirations. Just as the rays of Aten reach every corner of our land, illuminating it with warmth and light, so too will your presence touch the lives of those you encounter, casting a radiant glow wherever you go. I have every confidence that you will navigate the path ahead with grace, wisdom, and resilience. Your journey will be filled with opportunities to learn, to grow, and to make a positive impact on the world. Your brilliance, much like the sun at its zenith, will shine forth and inspire those around you. Through life's ups and downs, through triumphs and challenges, I will be there as your unwavering advocate and supporter. My love for you knows no limits, and I will do all in my power to ensure that you are equipped to face whatever comes your way with courage and grace. As you step into the world, my dear Meritaten, always remember that you are a child of Aten, a bearer of light and hope. You are destined for greatness, and I have every faith that you will make a profound and positive impact on the world, just as you have enriched your lives with your presence. 
Your future is as limitless as the sky at dawn, and I eagerly anticipate witnessing the radiant journey that lies ahead for you. My cherished Mary Tatan, within the embrace of her family, you shine like a precious jewel, adorning the crown of her lineage with your brilliance and grace. As you continue to journey through life, my deepest wish is that your path is abundantly illuminated by the radiant light of Aten, that you are enveloped in love, and that wisdom guides your every step. You are, without a doubt, one of the most precious treasures of our family. Your presence is a source of unending joy, a testament to the love that binds us, and a reflection of the profound bond between your father, myself, and our radiant Aten. In you, I see the promise of a future filled with love, a love that emanates from the depths of your being and touches the hearts of all those fortunate enough to know you. It is a love that embodies the very essence of Aten's benevolence, a love that has the power to uplift, heal, and unite. May your journey be one of boundless wisdom. As you continue to grow and learn, may your mind be enriched with knowledge, insight, and a deep understanding of the world around you. Your wisdom will be a guiding light, illuminating the path of your own life and, perhaps, the lives of those who are touched by your presence. And, above all, may your life be a perpetual testament to the radiant light of Aten. Just as the sun's rays bless their land with warmth and illumination, may your presence bring warmth and light to the lives of others. May you be a beacon of hope, a symbol of love, and a living embodiment of Aten's enduring grace. As your mother, it is my deepest desire to see you thrive, to witness the extraordinary journey that lies ahead for you, and to continue to be a source of unwavering support and love in your life. You are a cherished jewel in the crown of your family, and I am endlessly grateful for the privilege of being your mother. May your life be a testament to the boundless possibilities that await you, and may it be filled with the eternal blessings of love, wisdom, and the radiant light of Aten. Mecca Aten, my cherished daughter, your name holds within it a profound and sacred meaning. Mekataten, which translates to, Behold, the Aten, is not merely a name, it is a statement of reverence and a testament to the radiant presence that you bring into your lives. From the moment you graced us with your presence, you became a luminous beacon of light, casting a radiant glow over our family. Your very existence is a reminder of the divine blessings that Aten bestows upon us, blessings that encompass not only our family but our entire land. The name, Mekataten, is a declaration, an invitation for all to witness the radiant glory of Aten as it is embodied in you. Just as Aten's rays reach out to touch every corner of Egypt with warmth and light, your presence touches our hearts with boundless love and joy. As your mother, I have watched you grow, marveling at the beauty of your spirit and the grace with which you navigate the world. You are a source of endless inspiration, a symbol of hope, and a testament to the love that binds our family. Your name serves as a reminder that, in you, we behold the divine presence of Aten, a presence that transcends the physical and radiates from the depths of your soul. You are, without a doubt, a cherished jewel in our family's crown, a living embodiment of the love and grace that define our existence. As you continue to journey through life, my dearest Mekataten, may you always be a beacon of light, illuminating the lives of those you encounter. May your name serve as a constant reminder of the divine blessings that surround us, and may your path be one of love, grace, and boundless joy. Ankus and Python, my beloved daughter, in your name, we find a profound and timeless essence, a name that encapsulates the very essence of life and unwavering devotion. Your name, Ankus and Python, is a reflection of the profound significance that you hold in our lives and in the hearts of all who know you. It is a name that resonates with the enduring themes of love, devotion, and the eternal embrace of Aten. Ankhesen, meaning, she lives, is a testament to the vibrancy and vitality that you bring into your family and into the world. Your presence is a celebration of life itself, a reminder that each day is a gift to be cherished, and that within you beats a heart that radiates the warmth of Aten's benevolence. Paten, signifying, the Aten is a declaration of the profound connection that you share with our radiant sun god. It is a reminder that the tense divine light, which blesses our land and our lives, is embodied in you. You are, in essence, a living testament to the presence of Aten among us. As your mother, I have had the privilege of watching you grow, witnessing the beauty of your character, and marveling at the depth of your devotion to your family and to Aten. Your unwavering commitment to the path of enlightenment and love is a source of endless inspiration. Ankus and Python, 
You are a cherished member of our family, a beacon of hope, and a living embodiment of the ideals that define us. Your name carries with it a legacy of love, devotion, and the radiant light of Aten, and I am deeply grateful for the privilege of being your mother. May your life continue to be a testament to the enduring values of love, devotion, and the radiant presence of Aten. As you journey through life, may you always carry within you the essence of Ancus and Python, a name that celebrates life and devotion, and a name that reminds us all of the enduring blessings that grace our existence. Nefer and for you, Aten, my beloved daughter, your name is a reflection of the beauty and grace that permeates our world. You are a cherished and radiant presence within our family a living testament to the enduring legacy of Aten, the divine source of light in life. In the name, Nefern for you Aten, we find a profound celebration of beauty. Nefer means beautiful, and it is a reminder that your very essence radiates with a beauty that transcends the physical. It is a beauty that encompasses the grace of your spirit, the kindness in your heart, and the light that shines from your very being. Aten, signifying the radiant sun god, is a declaration of your deep connection to the divine. It is a reminder that, like Aten, your presence blesses our lives with warmth and illumination. You are, in every sense, a living embodiment of the radiant light that Aten bestows upon Egypt. As your mother, I have had the privilege of watching you grow into the remarkable person that you are today. Your beauty, both inward and outward, is a source of endless joy and inspiration. You possess a grace that touches the hearts of all who have the privilege of knowing you. Nefer and for you, Aten, you are a cherished part of our family, a symbol of love, unity, and the unwavering faith that defines us. Your name carries with it a legacy of beauty and grace, and it serves as a testament to the radiant presence of Aten in our lives. May your journey through life be filled with continued beauty, grace, and the boundless blessings of Aten. As you grow and evolve, may you always carry within you the essence of Nefren for you, Aten, a name that celebrates beauty and grace and a name that reminds us of the enduring beauty that surrounds us, both in our hearts and in the world. Tashert, my beloved daughter, your name holds within it a profound and sacred meaning. It is a name that carries the essence of goodness, a testament to the blessings that grace our lives during this era of transformation and unwavering devotion to the radiant sun god, Aten. Tashert, Meaning, the goodness of Aten, is a reflection of the profound significance that you hold within our family and within the hearts of all who know you. Your very existence is a reminder of the goodness and benevolence that Aten bestows upon us, a goodness that extends not only to your family but to all of Egypt. In you, I see a living embodiment of this goodness. Your presence is like a ray of sunlight piercing through the clouds, illuminating our lives with warmth, joy, and a profound sense of gratitude. You are a precious gift, a reminder that even in times of change and challenge, we are surrounded by the goodness and grace of Aten. As your mother, I have had the privilege of watching you grow, witnessing the beauty of your spirit, and marveling at the kindness that emanates from your heart. Your name serves as a constant reminder of the values that define us, values of love, goodness, and unwavering devotion to Aten. Tashert, you are a cherished member of our family a symbol of hope and a testament to the enduring legacy of Aten. Your name carries with it the promise of goodness and the radiant presence of Aten in our lives. May your journey be one of continued goodness and grace. As you navigate the path ahead, may you always carry within you the essence of Tashert, a name that celebrates the goodness of Aten and a name that reminds us all of the blessings that surround us, both in our hearts and in the world. Nefer and Ferrer, my beloved daughter, your name is a profound symbol of the double beauty that radiates from the divine light of Aten. In your presence, I witness the grace and radiance that bless not only our family but their entire world. You are a cherished jewel, a precious gem that weaves its brilliance into the rich tapestry of our lives. Your name, Nefren Furrer, encapsulates the concept of double beauty, reflecting the twin aspects of beauty that shine forth from Aten's radiant presence. Nefer signifies beauty and Nefer, repeated twice in your name amplifies this beauty, signifying a profound and unparalleled grace that emanates from your being. In you, my dear Nefer and Fer, I see a reflection of the divine beauty that graces our land each day as Aten's rays bless Egypt with warmth and illumination. Your presence is like a beacon of light, casting a luminous glow over all who have the privilege of knowing you. As your mother, I have had the privilege of watching you blossom into the remarkable individual that you are today. Your beauty, 
both inward and outward, is a source of endless inspiration and joy. You possess a grace that touches the hearts of those around you, a radiance that reflects the eternal light of Aten. Nefer and Ferrer, you are not just a beloved member of our family, but a symbol of love, unity, and the unwavering faith that defines us. Your name carries with it a legacy of double beauty and a reminder of the profound blessings that grace our lives. May your journey through life continue to be adorned with grace and beauty. As you grow and evolve, may you always carry within you the essence of Nefernfer, a name that celebrates the double beauty of a tan's light and a name that reminds us of the radiant beauty that surrounds us, both within and outside ourselves. Setapenr, my beloved daughter, your name carries within it a profound and sacred meaning. It signifies, chosen by Ra, a declaration that you are a divine blessing, a chosen presence in our midst, and a reminder of the eternal light that guides us on our journey. In your very existence, I find solace and strength. Ra, the sun god, is a symbol of the radiant light that blesses our land each day. It is a reminder that your presence, like the sun's rays, fills our lives with warmth, illumination, and a sense of purpose. Your name signifies that you are chosen by this divine light, selected to bring its blessings into your family and into the world. In you, my dear Setapenra, I see the embodiment of this divine blessing. Your presence is a source of comfort and inspiration, much like the gentle warmth of the sun on a cool morning. You radiate a sense of inner strength and purpose that reflects the eternal light that guides us all. As your mother, I have had the privilege of watching you grow into the extraordinary individual that you are today. Your name serves as a constant reminder of the values that define us, values of faith, guidance, and unwavering devotion to the radiant presence of Ra, which we also know as Aten. Setapenr, you are a cherished member of our family, a symbol of hope and a testament to the enduring legacy of the divine light that graces our lives. Your name carries with it the promise of being chosen by Ra and the radiant presence of Aten in our lives. May your journey through life continue to be guided by the eternal light of Ra. As you navigate the path ahead, may you always carry within you the essence of Setapenr, a name that celebrates being chosen by Ra and a name that reminds us all of the eternal light that guides us, both within and outside ourselves. As for the path that follows my own, the sands of history remain uncertain and veiled. After my time, the story of Egypt unfolds with mysteries and intrigue, and even I do not hold the answers. Egypt's history is an ever-flowing river, guided by the hand of fate, its course shaped by the pharaohs and queens who will come after us. The future is a realm of secrets, known only to the gods and the inexorable passage of time. It is a tapestry yet to be woven, a story yet to be told. The pharaohs and queens who will ascend the throne in the years to come will continue to shape this great land, their actions etched in the annals of eternity. In the enigmatic tapestry of Egypt's future, they will chart their own destinies, facing challenges and triumphs, making decisions that will resonate through the ages. Their stories will be written in the enduring ink of history, contributing to the rich narrative of our beloved land. But in this very moment, we stand as guardians of the present, bearing the responsibility of our time and forging a path toward a brighter future in the embrace of Aten's eternal light. As we navigate the complexities of our era, we do so with unwavering faith, devotion, and a commitment to the values that define us. We are not merely individuals, but links in the chain of Egypt's history. Our actions, our devotion to Aten, and our pursuit of enlightenment all contribute to the legacy we leave behind. And while the secrets of the future remain concealed, it is our duty to ensure that the present is filled with purpose, love, and the radiance of Aten. As the sun sets on each day and rises anew, we embrace the ever-unfolding narrative of Egypt, a story that transcends time and space. And in this moment, we stand united, committed to being stewards of the present, guided by the eternal light of Aten, as we journey forward into the unknown expanse of Egypt's destiny.